Today we're talking about YouTube TV. This is a really interesting case because you and I, we all use YouTube all the time. They're fantastic at delivering streaming content to us, so why not streaming TV? Well, let's look at some of the details. Let's dive into YouTube TV. Now, when it comes to the strengths of YouTube TV, there are a lot, and we'll go through a lot of those here. First on my list is local channels. There's a reason that, that YouTube TV is so good at local channels, and I'll get into that in just a moment, but they're second only to maybe Hulu as far as sheer number of local channels available, and they're fantastic at making sure that they're available for as many people as possible. Again, we'll, we'll talk more about local channels in just a moment, but another thing I love about YouTube TV is the simplicity involved in their pricing structure. In fact, there is no structure. There are no tiers. There's just one plan. There's only one version of YouTube TV at this point, so you don't need to figure out which plan is right for you or something. It's if the service looks good to you, there's only one version of it. That's fantastic in my book. When it comes to video quality, again, this is YouTube. YouTube knows how to stream video. They have the infrastructure for it. They've been doing it for years. And so when it comes to YouTube TV, yes, it looks fantastic. And that's a strength, a point in its favor. Same goes for the interface. They've spent years making sure that the YouTube interface is exactly the way that uh, is gonna be best for delivering video to you. YouTube TV is gonna feel very familiar if you're used to using YouTube at all. And everybody does use YouTube. Uh, this is a testament to that, I suppose. The other thing, search is especially good. This is a Google engine, and so the search is fantastic. Something that has been lacking from some other streaming services. DVR is another big strength here. It's unlimited DVR that comes with your package end of story, sort of. There is one thing to be aware of, there's a nine month storage limit, so once you do record something, it's only gonna show up in that DVR for nine months. Something to be aware of, but other than that, unlimited amount of DVR recordings is a pretty good deal. Now, as for the kind of average features, something I would put neither as a strength nor a weakness, I'm gonna go with price on this one. Uh, YouTube TV actually just raised their price from 35 to 40 bucks. Uh, but either way, 35 or 40, that's gonna be right in line with its competitors, and so neither a strength nor a weakness. You should be aware the reason it was raised from 35 to 40 is because they just added a whole bunch more channels, including a lot of the Turner Network, so things like TBS, Cartoon, Cartoon Network, that sort of thing. You can also get MLB Network and NBA TV now, so you get a lot more options, but that price did come up from 35 to 40. Now, for weaknesses, there is one that I would put right at the top, and that's availability. YouTube TV had a very, a remarkably, I would say, slow rollout last year. As of right now, they're available in 83 uh, markets nationwide. Now that sounds like a lot, but there are actually 210 markets nationwide. But the good news is that 80% of the population of the US is covered. And so they've got their large metro areas covered, and I assume they're gonna keep expanding to more of the population as well. But as for right now, they're one of the less available nationwide. Uh, compared to the other services. Now the good news is that that expansion is pretty slow because they're concentrating on local channels. I told you I'd come back to local channels. So the reason they're expanding slow is because every time they add a new market, they want to get as many local channels there available as possible as they expand. So if YouTube TV is available in your area, the good news is that there's a great chance that your local channels will be available there. It's not guaranteed, It's not uh, that, that's not a blanket statement, so you'll wanna make sure that you check their channel listings before you subscribe, but that is good news as far as I'm concerned. Now, as for the channel count, the total channel count, it's not bad. Like I said, they did just add a bunch more, but I'd say it's probably not as good as services that we're already used to, like PlayStation View or DirecTV Now, which have fantastic channel counts. So that's something to be aware of. And the other thing that I'll mention here on the weaknesses section is the devices. Uh, you can get YouTube TV on your Apple TV or your Roku, but it is missing a few of the major players. Uh, hopefully they're adding those all the time. So make sure, again, make sure you look it up before you sign up for YouTube TV that you're gonna be able to use it on the device you want. So do we recommend YouTube TV? As far as I'm concerned, if you can get it, go for it. This is definitely in the top tier of streaming TV services. I think it's got a lot going for it. And the weaknesses that I mentioned, these are things that hopefully will be uh, will become strengths over time. Especially if you're a heavy YouTube user already, this is a great idea. You add YouTube TV on top of that. I think you're gonna have a great experience with it. 
If you love unlimited DVR, you just want to keep all your shows recorded and watch them a few times, this is, again, a great option for you. Once more, I'll just mention, before you sign up, check the device availability. Whatever you're watching your streaming TV on, make sure that YouTube TV is available on that device. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. So on your way down to the comments, after you like and subscribe, of course, let us know what you think. Do you like YouTube TV? Is it something you're thinking about signing up for? or have you already signed up for it? I wanna know what your experience has been, so go hit the comments below, and we'll see you for the next video.